hey guys welcome back to quality guard tutorials today we will see regarding the knowledge base search list okay this search list what is actually search list why is it important what it gives us how to configure that okay these things we will see in this video Hello. we will start with the first so I, I hope many of you guys have already worked on sim tool or proxy or AV and all are used to add filtering techniques if not let us see here how to do the filtering basically search list is the powerful filtering and customization tool and it is present in this vulnerability management application okay now here this search list icon or i can say it is a tab search list tab you can see it multiple areas under scans if you see there is a search list likewise if you go to reports and in the reports you have the search list and if you go to knowledge base and under knowledge base also you have the search list so you can ask me what does the individual search list do here so here every search list everywhere where you find a search list performs the same function same operations you can add the search list you can create a search list anywhere from among this three four tabs available okay now let's go and see what actually it gives like what you can do if you have a search list what all you can do you can have a search list added to your optional profile okay let's say suppose you have to only scan cell 4 and cell 5 vulnerabilities exclusively you don't want to go to scan one cell 1 cell 2 cell 3 but only you want to scan cell 4 and cell 5 how do you filter out it how do you filter out that you can filter out it using the search list you can create a search list and you can only scan for cell 4 and cell 5 vulnerabilities and also you can add the search list to one of the report template because reports here they are mostly focused on or they are confined to a part or they are mostly confined to a scenario like suppose if you want to only report only get the report of the scans which are of high severity vulnerabilities then you can create a report and you can add this search list to that report template which only gives you the high severity vulnerabilities and thereby it will be helpful for the patch management team to only patch those four and five cell vulnerabilities easily out of all cell one cell two cell three cell four cell five we only are interested on cell four and cell five okay and you can also do another thing you can add this search list to one of the remediation policy i can come i'll come to the remediation policies i'll come to the report template later you can add this remediation add this to remediation policy which automatically ignores all the low risk vulnerabilities that means you are only prioritizing the high risk vulnerabilities and ignoring the low risk vulnerabilities if we add it to a policy then it automatically does this okay so this is the these are the things which are which will be or where where this search list will be used thoroughly and under this you can create two type of list here one is static search list another is dynamic search list this dynamic search list is automatically updated by the quality service you don't need and whatever whenever you get any updates to the knowledge base it will automatically reflect it in the dynamic search list whereas this static search list they don't receive any updates the name itself says it is a static you want to perform the scan of something which is a static one or which is or mostly 
this will be useful the static search list will be useful where you want to collect the vulnerabilities that do not share any common criteria let's say there are two vulnerabilities which have a common criteria if you want to filter out if you want to filter out among the same you need to have some common criteria in that if unless and until there are there is no common thing why do you want to filter it out so for that case if you don't have anything in common for uh, regarding two or three or four or multiple vulnerabilities then you go for a static scan static search list i'm sorry okay now similarly we will see how to create the search how to we'll see the searches library and then we will create a dynamic search list for this tutorial okay now in this tab we go to we click on the new there are three options you can see one is static list second is a dynamic list i have told you all these two and there is an option called import from library what it does what if i do import from library what it shows this will import because qualis already has created a library of some very useful search list okay under the search list tab if you see there are scans reports and knowledge base sections you will find under the scan search list okay all these whenever wherever you see all this uh, search list uh, tab in all these three sections they perform the same thing they perform the same actions okay now here i'll update it from the library i think in the last video you have seen the library i have shown you the different titles of vulnerabilities cvss core qids and uh, other sections of that vulnerability library now i am what i am doing is i am just importing those vulnerabilities from that library when i click import from library there is another tab which it got which got open here okay so i'll add that i'll show you that now i think the screen is visible now if you see here there are 13 vulnerabilities which are in my library and this all thing these all 13 library type 13 vulnerabilities present in this library will be copied to my account earlier these are not the part of my account these are the part of the library now i want it to import to my search list from that library okay now what i'll do is i'll select all you can see under the, near the info if you select all it will be selected and you close you just, just select import and it is asking three three options make global don't make global cancel what it does what it makes sense global in the sense it will allow you to control the visibility of the objects you create or import like means if you make it as a global it will be visible to other users as well scanners readers etc whatever the other objects are there which are using this vulnerability tool or my account it will be visible to all within the qualis okay within the qualis code now what i want is i want to make it as a global go to that tab and make it as a global and it is now it is got imported yes if you see the search list now it is updated with 13 different vulnerabilities and earlier there were three or three dynamic things vulnerabilities three three vulnerabilities were present total there are this many 16 vulnerabilities you can see here okay now you see if you see the source here what it is saying some of them there are dynamic some of them they are static so i already told you the difference between the dynamic and static search list right now we will move on to create a dynamic search list I'll, because we do it a practical way then we get to know how these things work 
okay for this case for creating a dynamic search list i will i will take a use case like i just want to create a search list of low risk vulnerabilities that means low risk vulnerabilities are severity 1 and 2 because severity 3 3 4 5 are minimal and medium and high risk so i don't want to poke that i want to only know the low risk vulnerabilities but with a high potential remediation cost that means risk vulnerability is low severity is low but high potential okay now that kind of use case i want and i want to i want to just uh, see the vulnerabilities or see the low risk vulnerabilities with a high potential what remediation cost for that thing i should go back i should go here and i should create a new what i should create here i should create a new dynamic list so when i when i click on the new and if i and select a dynamic list option it is giving me this window okay now if you see here it is asking the general information list criteria and and the comments okay first i'll give it a name this i'll give it a name as low severity high potential vulnerabilities this is i has given the name now here i can make it make even this list as a global okay or else i can leave it as it is but i want to make it as a global when i want to make it make this as a global i need to click on this and next go to list criteria what is this showing i think you are all familiar with this list criteria because earlier also we have seen such kind of tab where you can select only whatever you want now here in this case what we want is we want the high low severity and high risk potential that means for high risk potential what will be the criteria what will be the there will be no patch solution now scroll down scroll down scroll down here you have confirmed severity potential threat and information severity am i correct select that list criteria so now vulnerabilities that do not have a patch solution typically make more time to mitigate and therefore they are cost more to resolve than vulnerabilities that already have patched we all know that right so now you select that after that i, I already told you the what is the potential severity it is high that means one two don't get confused for this with the confirmed severity these both are different potential severity is different